Firefly Systems builds some of the most advanced drones and cameras in the world. Designed, engineered, and built right here in the USA. These guys don't just make drones and cameras. They make high-tech gear built for science and precision. So when you see a camera like this, you would think that it would only be used for filming, like filming a movie, cinema, and all that stuff. But it's actually an inspection tool. Companies like SpaceX, they use this exact camera, the Freefly S2.5K, to film their rocket as it's taking off so they can see things in slow motion, all the details that are happening. One of the more common things that this camera is used for is actually to check vibrations since you're filming at such a high frame rate so you can see if anything's moving on the object. You can also use it in manufacturing if you want to see if an object is going to fail or what's actually happening to your process in slow motion. Even Freefly's drones can be used in different ways. Normally, when you think of drones, you think of stuff like filming or drone shows. But these drones are so well made, they can be used to transport objects such as medical supplies or deliveries. And you can use these drones with LiDAR to scan the environment and for mapping. Every single year, this company is pushing the limits of performance. They came to us because they wanted to improve their product and swap out all of their steel screws with titanium ones. So we reached out to TMS Titanium, got some 6AL4V. Thank you so much for that. And 6AL4V, it's a lot stronger and lighter than stainless steel, but it's also a little bit difficult to machine. I'm using a few of these tools here. I've got a part off tool, a couple of Ken Swiss turning inserts, a threader, and a Harvey 1TE for the backside. It's not a very complicated program, but we have to make sure because it's titanium that all of our speeds and feeds and our solid cam program are all locked in. So let's run it. These parts are very small and the thread on them is very thin. I was thinking because it's titanium, it's a strong material and I'd be able to do this entire part in one shot, saving some time. That wasn't the case. I would check the part with the pitch mic, and even though the pitch would measure good, my gauge wouldn't go on for some reason. And the shaft, which is one of the tightest tolerances on the part, had a lot of taper on it, too much where I couldn't keep the part in tolerance, and it was varying from part to part. I would have one part that would be good, and the next part, for whatever reason, was bad. I could come in here to inspection and put the parts on the comparator, and I could see that things weren't right. I was getting distortion on the threads and a lot of taper on the part. So I had to think of another way to do this. So I had to hop onto SolidCam and change how we were going to attack this part. Now we split it up into two halves. For the first portion, we turn where the threads are and a little bit into the main OD of the part. This is going to still be roughed out. I just needed to give myself enough clearance for the threading insert so that it's not going to collide into the material. SolidCam actually made that pretty easy because I just had to copy and paste my roughing and finishing toolpaths and then adjust the geometry. For this portion here where I turned into the shaft, I did that by adjusting the geometry. So just to show, we go to modify geometry here and you can see for my end extension, I have an offset of negative 350 thousandths. If I change this number, you can see my yellow line here. This is my geometry of my parts. You can see that this changes depending on what number is entered there. So I just shortened it until I was happy with how much material was being left. We hit OK there. After that portion, we do the second half of the part. We finish the main OD and then part it off, hand it over to the sub chuck and do the backside with the milling operation on it. This is the kinds of things you have to think about when you run titanium. You can't just take the part for granted. You can't take the material for granted. You need to come up with a game plan for success. After that fix, the parts ran great. There was no issues with the threads and I was able to hold that tight tolerance without much taper. 
these screws will be going straight into the next generation of Free Flies drones. This is the part of my job I really love. We had a customer reach out, they were doing stainless steel screws and they wanted to switch these screws over to titanium. Guess what? Tyson to the rescue, he machined 50 of these for the customer and in turn, the customer loved them so much, they gave us an order for a Tornos GT13 fully loaded. If you guys out there are looking for a turnkey project and want to partner with us, reach out to me anytime, Keith at titansofcnc.com. Hey, don't forget, we got Boombastic happening at the shop November 13th and 14th. Every single machine here is going to be running. You can meet all of us, ask us questions. There's going to be people from all over the world, and we're going to have food and drinks there. VIP registrations are sold out, but you can still get in by checking out the link below. Check it out and I'll see you there.